happening everybody chupacabra off-road back in the desert back with brent mann american engineering adam castaneda best in the desert pro racer we're out here in geyser loop met brent um uh, both, both know each other through brent brent uh, assembled both of our cars and um both getting ready for future races so adam tell us a little bit about yourself um how you got this this addiction to off-road racing oh man it started when i was probably three years old got my first 50 and it all went up from there, got my first Razor S800 and drove in circles around our four acre shop for years. I had that thing for three years. I just do circles all day and graduated to the 1000 and now I'm here at the Can-Am and couldn't be happier. So you just had this car assembled, um, new to desert racing and you've done a couple races in this? Yeah, new to desert racing this year. Uh, first race with Parker, best in desert an experience for sure and we moved on to Laughlin and we were happy with where we were going till the end and now we're still working on it. I'm sure you've learned a ton like same as you have done a couple races. Where do you think you're at right now and what do you think you need to do to to be able to step it up and push hard and, and get a good finish from the location uh, you know you can win. I think we're close. We The shocks are dialed, the car's fast, the clutching's good. Um, the hubs, the hubs and axle down there, that's our only issue. Um, once we get that squared away, I think we'll be content pretty well. Awesome. I'm glad uh, Adam was coming to town to pick up his car for Brent. It was a good uh, scenario for us to all get together. So Brent drove my car. If you guys have been following the channel or YouTube, we just put a new XP Pro Trans. We're going to be clutching an ECU tuning with Queen next week and let Adam drive it as well. So um, I'll start with you, Brent. Brent's driven this, my car a couple times after we first had it together. And uh, how do you think we're looking so far? Uh, a lot of improvements. It's um, the what Wayne did with the shocks is night and day. Uh, the car is very stable, predictable. Um, it's uh, we probably need to do a little clutch and tuning to it. And uh, it, it's like right there, um, a, a huge improvement to where it was when we started. And uh, um, real happy, real impressed with it today. I was really hoping to do a race before this whole pandemic happened with the old transmission and then convey what the bell temps were with the new XP Pro. I thought that would have been cool for you all to know, but my friends that are way faster than me who were going up front or running XP Pro trans with really good results. So I think today I only saw 230 on the bell temp. Uh, with the aim and fred belt sensor so i'm happy with that uh both ab and i we just got to make these cars run as cool as possible it's about 90 degrees out both in some pretty high temperatures so i think that's something that we all deal with trying to go fast here we're just learning so um my result will be changing up the radiator step we're trying to get more up to it but uh that's what they tell you guys if you guys want to go racing that that's where we're at a couple races more money more time yeah. more planning trial and error more it's learning a, you know it's a small motor that we're asking a lot of it to do. so i think that yeah we need to either you know better water pumps or it just it seems like as you you're in the gas full throttle you got to back out just a hair to let it cool go again and uh you know i'm used to trophy trucks where you have the big cooling and the coolers and all that and it almost seems like with these cars we need to do that and Adam was talking about he weighed his car. You guys aren't gonna believe how much does this car weigh? Twenty six sixty. With both of us in it, full fuel, race ready. So more than I thought. I haven't weighed my vehicle. I was hoping my car was around twenty two, but I've got to be easily north of twenty five. Yeah, you're at you're at least twenty five, twenty six on yours. So uh, final final message. We got some cool video. Uh, last run of the day, Adam drove with me. This dude can drive, and I'm not just saying that because he's here. Thank you. But uh, he pushed my my car faster than it's ever been pushed. We had a nice huckabuck back here, and uh, the suspension set up for me my driving level. But uh, I'm gonna get try to get to his level so I can uh, yeah, hold the gas throttle. So, but I'm really happy. Um, like I said, we got more tuning coming up. Um, thanks to you guys. It's always fun learning. Um, next race on the schedule is Silver State. Most likely, we're ready to go. If not, we'll wait and get the car perfect for Vegas Arena and make a good run there. So we got about five weeks so yeah it's gonna be up north of Nevada some elevation uh, some dust here. Yeah it's uh it's a fun race it goes into trees and uh yeah there's elevation and uh, yeah it gets dusty because uh you're on the side of the mountains and trees and the dust kind of hangs but uh it's uh, a really cool area of Nevada to race in. Yeah. 
it's not just open rocks and you know like the mid 400 course it's uh, you go some elevation changes through some towns it's it's, it's really a cool place to be I'm excited for it. Every race we're going to this year is new to us, so yeah. we take it as we see it, and we are happy with Laughlin. A lot of those guys have spent lots of time on that track, and that was our first time. We impressed ourselves. Yeah, I mean, Adam was running a really great pace, top 10 for quite a while, which is amazing. Second race out, running against probably one of the most competitive, if not the most competitive. Well, we class started in the he started in the back. I mean, and he was in the top 10 physically, you know, so. We were a top, I don't know, seven or five car going into the last lap. So very impressive. I mean, like you said, Adam can drive. Yeah. And I'm looking forward to bigger and better things with him. So Adam's going to get back to Yuma. I'm going to get back and do some video editing, as always. <laughs> Brent, hopefully you had a nice I weekend. I'm going to get off. back in the shop and get back, get back to work. <laughs> yeah, we call him Brent soon for buying some more uh, upgrades on the car. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a great weekend. We'll catch up with you next time. Thank you.